Wizard World LA. We are walking alongside superheroes. This is Laura Berman here in Hollywood where we're at the world premiere of Dan in real life. Did you base your parenting skills on your home life or is this how Michael Scott would parent? What are you doing here? No, this is not how Michael Scott would parent. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a chance to put it out there because we want to see you happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never leaving your show. I'm going to be on every night from okay, now on. Good. So like you're really addressing like the biggest question that mm -hmm. there is, which is what's our purpose? Everyone is striving for inner happiness. If it's in this book, I'm in, right? <laughs> but I think a lot of us fall into the trap of thinking that, well, I'll be happy then, and some days you're up, some days you're down. That's just life, but that's not what you're saying. You are blessed. Yes. Yes, and love is sure to follow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations on your award. I noticed that you gravitate towards a lot of family-oriented types of films. What is it about those storylines that speak to you? Oh, I think they course speak to everybody. How were you able to make that leap from starting a company in 96 and then now being able to travel the world and make a living? You have to tell us a behind-the-scenes moment, something that happened during filming that we don't know about, a funny story. Uh, oh, I always... I always tank these things. No, you don't. This Dude. here's your chance to change that. Um, <laughs> a funny. St I don't know. What are the? They're just boring. Did somebody come out without pants, or maybe someone ate all the craft services? <laughs> Go to fans. You're the creator. You get to do that. I get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I may kick your tushy. Uh, Probably will. So, if there was a girl, and it was between you and Steve. Who do you think would get the girl? Me. So let me get this straight, okay? Just so I understand. You two live in the same house. No. Yeah. Well, no, your brother and sister, right? Yeah. You live in the same house, but you go on the computer to go to each other's houses? Yeah. yeah. Who am I wearing, you ask? I have no idea. I got this on sale at Macy's. What was it about this film that appealed to you, that really made you think this story needs to be told? Some people make movies because they know answers. Uh, I, I, I make movies because I know the questions. Now, this film had the potential to be very controversial. Yeah. Did you think about what people's reaction would be when you read it for the first time? I was fascinated. Well, the hardest part of being this character was having to strip on camera, but um, no, the hardest part, I think. <laughs> Not I, tough on the viewer's eyes, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> Say nudity, who needs to hear anything else? Nudity. I have to tell you, Jerry, after 40-year-old virgin and now kissing cousins, I'm beginning to think that you may have a dirty mind. I can pull it off, I can pull it out, I can do everything. Oh, Whatever. Okay. I'm here for that, my dear darling. Oh, well now, thank you very much. Now, I know a lot of men may quip, oh, I'd like to kill her, but you actually go about plotting it in this film. So how did you go about preparing to make that believable? For this part, it was a it was a long reminiscence. It's a fairy tale. It's a romance. It's making all of us feel like princesses, and we're going to see what happens when animation meets live action in the middle of Manhattan. Nice to meet you. Nice You're to the meet best you too. You have ever had. Really? really? Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Thank you. All, all right. right cool. <laughs> see you. Like, um... <laughs> Let's all just think about that during the commercial break. So, stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs> I get loving out here. <laughs> 